Let's go. I like that for hours. Fuck, really don't like that. <laughs> like, I hate tequila. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little more lime juice. Hi, look at that. We got more. Lime juice, a little bit of tequila. This is how you do it. Hi there. So for the most part here, you know, uh, I could probably keep the lime one. That sure looks like the lime one to me. I guess I'm wrong. Because rum is good for the soul, you feel? And we gotta work our way up. The tequila, take a little bit of tequila, just a little bit of a buzz, you know, a little bit, a little bit of lime juice. I like putting the rum in first, and then I like putting a little mango LaCroix, La Croix, whatever you wanna call it. This is, this is the fun part. This is the interesting part. I run uh, over here. My room's kind of messy, so don't, you know, get too upset over that. Um, we put the lime juice down, and we do all the rum shit in here. I got some stuff packed in. So this is one of my favorites. This is the room. Uh, over there is where I um, make all the music. So the other day I was actually really high out of my mind on DXM, legal high. And, um, sorry. No, you don't want to see me that long. Um, I, um,
made that album. It was about six tracks, and um, yeah, it was fun. Did a bunch of loops. Look at that. Smells like apple, mango, and lime. Oh, I feel that um, tequila already sneaking up on me. I can um, taste it in my mouth, and it sucks. God, that grain on that camera looks so nice. Look at that. Here. That's good. Um, I don't even know what to say. Look at this. New Little Ugly Mane. I've been listening to it more. Really good album. You know, I've been more bored around this time of the, the changing season. So I thought, hey, maybe I could be doing more stuff. Uh, that's so good. I'll probably just finish that on my own time, though. Already starting to make it to the dizzy point, so, um, yeah. Pretty fun. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, look at that. That'd be a good album cover, look at that. So I've been talking to um, people today and um, looking for resources and stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any, but it's fine. I'm just vibing. I'm um, doing my best. And um, what I'm really excited to do is bring a slice of life kind of um, vibe to the Scum Alice. Um, what's it called? Universe? Who is Scum Alice? Let's make something interesting. Let's make something interesting like maybe something alongside the book. Can I read a part of the book? Can I read a quote from the book? Would that be like interesting? Here, I got I got the book actually. Oh shit. I know that I'm in for an interesting time. But um here's the book. Um every page, you know, is is filled. Not every page yet, but I'd say like each page would probably equate to like two paragraphs to like a normal fucking like thing. So on the PDF are the um word document. Um Nature of pain before me stumbles sickness in American consciousness. For us, we take what we can carry and carry for the lake. Cabins are filled with mold and bones and blood-stained carpet. New direction, dissect, new dissect. Performative direction of new age consciousness. Deer mold growing in a location that is new and old. The pier is new and the warehouse is old. The fridge is new, the floor is old. Grab the sandwich, grab the mold. Grab the moldy bread. Occult nonsense. Overrated, manufactured, stream of consciousness, first place, last world, last place, infamous, chasing attention, chaos, chasing sanity. And we'll get to the rest soon. Because the book is good. The book is fun. And, um... You're going to have fun with it. I should shave soon. I hate having facial hair. But, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to have. Because it's warm in these months. Look at my teeth. Do, you, do I look like a person with normal mental or um, dental care? No. 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 The thing I love about rum the most is um, the come up. Come up, it's really fun. I wish I could switch over this camera, but um, it's fine. You can probably see me in the reflection of this can. Hey there, you see me moving? I love the come up of rum. Um, it's actually very um, warm. 
I'd say it's probably my favorite alcohol because um, absinthe is kind of weird. I kind of want to write more when I'm drinking absinthe. Um, I'm kind of like in this really odd state, you know, just like kind of numbness. Rum is a nice numbness because it's like getting a hug, you know, kind of numbness. And it's like probably the best alcohol I've ever tried. Like, let's just be honest. Um, tequila, I don't know what the fuck it makes me feel. Beer makes me angry. Beer, I can see why people abuse people on alcohol like beer. That, that's some shit. I really hate beer. But IPAs can be good. White Claw, it, it's kind of shit. Um, but this is how some of the creative process gets in. Um, when we're talking about the book, there's a few pages on this book where I was, um, you know, drinking heavily, you know, sitting outside, just enjoying the weather of this fucking intense time we're living in, you know, and, um, I've been really enjoying making new music. Um, sometimes it just gets so lost in the process, but it, it doesn't really showcase the creativity behind the process so i want to showcase the creativity behind the process with this little slice of life piece uh, a, a few things that i take into consideration for the inspiration of the process what do i take into consideration for the process how do i start the process how do i begin the process all that shit. i just said the same thing but hey i'm getting dizzy so it's it's just mm, I don't know what to say, but anyway, um, I collect Christian music because Christians are good. If you're Christian out there, you got good good art, got good culture. I think this was a a grapefruit thing, maybe or eggs. I get pickled eggs if I'm, you know, getting beer. I love pickled eggs. It's something you learn to appreciate. Now here, um, this is a um, little paper that I keep. Um, I don't know what it exactly means. I think it means that I owe somebody 20 bucks, which um, I'll have to get that to them soon. But um, I hope you en are enjoying the slice of life piece. This is the beginnings. The beginnings of the process. And we're going to be celebrating the process heavily here. Um, I really wish I could get into media and all that shit. But hey, whatever. We'll, we'll see if um, this leads to anything. Because if it doesn't lead to anything then um, it, it's worthless, right? You'll see my authenticity in the process, right? What I enjoy of life and how I extract value from life and all that good stuff, that will help you determine, I don't know, however you want to use your first impressions on this, you know, project I really wanted to do some fun stuff though well, this is going to be like a little diary of um, how I extract creative value from the universe I would be playing video games if I could but um, I don't feel like it right now I feel like being manic drinking a little bit and um possibly going to do something since it's still kind of early even though it looks dark it, it looks dark here too but um there's some stuff to be done and i'll be you know maybe commentating or something stream of consciousness style you know sometimes i really want to approach things in like a hunter s thompson kind of way but with like william burroughs i, I feel more relatability to william burroughs but I love the pacing and momentum of Thompson, right? So I like it to be an introspective journey. How beautiful this location is. 
sometimes you just gotta take into consideration the, um, the subtleties of life, you know? That's, that's the whole idea of the project, you feel? The subtleties of existence. And sometimes things just come together just right. Everything looks so beautiful, you know? Anyway, in this surreal little town, I have a place to stay. Um, I want to consider this um, project as a depressing display of um, anything in particular except for um, just a little insight. A little, little insight of how I um, yeah, extract creativity. How my projects go. You may ask yourself, why do you have so many projects? You know, a lot of those projects... You know, every, every now and then I just have this burst of energy, creative energy, and um, that helps direct me in locations that, that really help, you know? Like, um, I read a lot. I got some Crowley downstairs, some fucking Philip K. Dick. Um, here, here's my workstation. I got some blankets on here because sometimes I get really cold. But anyway, down here I got pedals. Um, got my computer. This is where I've done all my work since fucking empty cut. Like, I bought this for 50 bucks. And um, I've been using it since 2017. Um, if you want to know anything about the early projects, you know, um, they're a process too, you know. I probably was more self-destructive in those eras, but um, nowadays I'm just um, flirting with a bit of alcohol. I don't think I'm flirting with addiction. I'm more or less flirting with the feeling of the euphoric, euphoric highs. I don't know why or how I just turn on my TV, but I, I'm flirting with the euphoric highs. You know? That, that's the fun part. The euphoric highs. The only thing I'm addicted to is art. Cannot get enough. Will never get enough. Art is my life. And this is an introduction. Let's go do some stuff. Here's a little tip for you guys. Stay hydrated. You know, drink, drink your water. Because when you neglect your water, and you're drinking, not, not, a good, not, a, not a good combination. We're about to go out. <clears throat> Shit. Make sure I got my keys. Oh, shit. We're out here with my muse, my best friend, my significant other. <laughs> Everything collaborator Some good books. I've read them all. Just because of how often I come in here.
Jessica Baker and um, Unfinished Virgins Part 1. That's a good one. Um, not much really going on in there. Hey there, everybody. Now, I got Andy Warhol, the genius of Andy Warhol pop. Why not? And um, I got two virgins. They had two virgins. They had two virgins, so I had to get it. I had to get two virgins. It's part one, so it's one of the best ones. There is nothing wrong with getting the best fucking John and Yoko collaborative effort ever. I can't even open it, so should I even try? But it's one of my favorite albums of all time. If you want to know what inspires me the fucking most, it's John and Yoko, two fucking virgins. Genuinely, I love this album so much. I listen to this all the fucking time. It's just amazing. Listen to John and Yoko, two virgins, part one. Um, and then of course we got Chet Baker, because I um, knew a person who was a friend of mine, you know, an affiliate, who loved Chet Baker. So um, we're um, giving some love back to Chet Baker. Because I've heard enough of the music to say, hey, this is actually pretty good shit. You know, I wish there was an album of Chet Baker material, but this is, um, some interesting stuff. Love to Chet Baker. Time after time, I fall in love to him easily. It's always you. I've never been in love before. My funny Valentine, the thrill is gone. Get along without you very well. Um, or I get along without you very well. Like someone in love, my buddy. I, you don't know what love is. Um, I'm excited to fucking hear this album. Look at this. Ooh. So yeah, I don't think I got too much um, footage of me inside the store, which is, you know, I hope I hope it's fine. If it's not fine, you know, you know, we're going to a new store today. Right now, we're actually going to a new store because um, I'm fucking bored as shit and I want something to do. I gotta charge my phone. Um, by the time it's done charging, we're, we're gonna be on the road. We're gonna be getting some shit. And um, after that, it's all over. We're getting the shit. A slice in the life. A vlog. My first vlog. Since we're having fun already. Um, let's get the um, ceremonial apps in the glass. And, um, yeah. See that? I need an absinthe spoon or whatever you call it to stir it up. But Yeah, we had fun over there. We talked to some guy. He was all like, thank you, because I said I liked his outfit, which is true. He had a pretty dope outfit. If you're out there... You, you were cool. I don't know if something's going on in town, but there's just some interesting people over there. And there are some girls talking about Paul McCartney and um, the Beatles. But they um, neglected to pick up the Two Virgins CD that was right on fucking top, dog. Which is stupid. If you see Unfinished Virgins Part 1, you gotta pick that stuff up. No matter how many copies you have. I already have a copy with Remember Love on it. But I, I wanted an extra one. You know, just for my reasons. And this is Galesburg we're talking about. The CD looks so amazing, by the way. I'm going to have to get Prilosec at the store. This is heavy. Over here, the lovely Liz. Alizé is our collaborations, you know. Um, I forget what else. How many collaborations have we did? I put, I put you on um, vocals. You remember in the shed for that split, um, some field recordings? Liz loves field recordings, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. I really got into them because of you. Yeah. Thank you, John and Yoko. Cheers to you. 
Um, what else did we do? Um, on a field recording collection of mine, Liz played um, the keyboard. Um, I think it put it under Alize, under the Scum Alice alias um, of secondary band camp. Um, I don't know. Liz needs to collaborate with me on one of the main projects. But we haven't figured that out yet. Because working with other people can be a bit confusing. But I also have material for my granddad too. So I gotta get that going. Cheers. This kicks. 110 proof. <sighs> Fuck. I paid 60 bucks for that shit. And it's not diluted enough by the lime. I want the lime to dilute it just a little bit so it's more sour than, you know, punchy. I think I drank the absinthe wrong. I think you're supposed to put a little bit and then put lime on top of it. But um, I don't have the canned lime drink, the La Croix, the Croix. So I'm really fucking out of it. So we're gonna go to Harding's next. The culture and um, energy general oral of um, Galesburg, Michigan crazy really resonates with me on such a profound level of um, how I exist within my own mind I feel like the culture is really reflective of my own experience of reclusiveness it's just so intriguing how the culture of this civilization works. Um, I really wish that I could deconstruct the aura. You can get food, I'll buy you food. I want to make sure we don't have to go out. Yeah, it's so beautiful out here. If we always film like this, I swear to God, we'd be doing great. I mean, this is like such a beautiful atmosphere. Look at that. Filming a bit. They're even open over there um, in that little um, restaurant. Watch out for that car coming up. Get me down there. Prilosec. He binge real some um, Twitter hours. You see Prilosec? Day in the life. Yeah, grab it. Or you can get um, 28 tackles right there for 21 bucks. You sure? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know, get 27 books. Right Let's there. just get this one. Okay, go ahead. Isn't that what you want? Yeah. Look at the meat uh, department. What did you want? You can get your food. Okay, I just wanted a few things. Yeah. We'll go a small truck out for sure. Because uh, we don't. And then let me just get three more things and I'm done. No. Acting weird, acting off today. 
You are probably the funniest little boner I've ever met. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Scum Alice, this is the day in the life. No fucking filter. I'm a huge boner. <laughs> uh, over here is where we broke into that place and I'm just joking. No legal liability because I didn't break into that place, but it's abandoned and it's cool as fuck. Absinthe, listen, you have to drink absinthe with like precaution, you feel? Drink it with a lot of something to dilute it. Absinthe is 110 proof. It's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, I see a cat. Nice. You drink too much 110 proof, that's going to get to you. I love absinthe. That shit's like my thing. I want to be drinking absinthe like I'm Crowley, you feel? Yeah. Drinking absinthe like I'm Rimbaud. My whole vibe lately has been Rimbaud and HST and Burroughs. That's why I'm doing this project, Day in the Life. Shit. I like coming out here and just like manically talking about like whatever comes to the top of my mind. I don't even see that cat anymore, but it's a good cat. I, want a cat. I know. Bags really suck. Woo! I'm recording. Look, we got Prilosec. Look at me in the mirror there, in the shadow. I'm recharging my phone because my phone battery is dying, so I can be out for like 20 minutes and then like have no battery. Woo! So me and Liz are making tea for the night. I'm gonna smoke a cigar and we're gonna chill outside, you know, to end the day. drooling. smoke a ton but I'm bringing back self-titled you feel the aura the essence Dropping. I accidentally inhaled a bit to 
tobacco smoke ain't fun. Hell on the lungs, actually. Not fun. Hope you enjoyed this Scum Alice um, little journey. It's been fun. You know, I don't know if I'm going to do more, but um, I can hear bats. Fuck. I don't like bats. Hear that shit? Not fun. Not fun.